time to get out there and make today count. Hey there, how are you doing? Thanks for joining me for another episode of Bitcoin and Coffee. I'll be your host, Eugene Forrest. So what are we looking at today with the cryptocurrency market? We're looking at the best BTC price we've ever seen in history over all nine years of Bitcoin. We got $4,162 right now. Uh, that's up 4.4%. I mean, we're going to be looking at the price of Bitcoin continuing to climb across the day and across the week, probably. Uh, we're definitely heading towards 4500 from what I can understand and see of this. And, I mean, we may be reaching towards the 5 k that everybody was talking about. I mean, that would be amazing if we can hit, the, you know, everybody predicts it and we actually get the price there. But being on the other side of $4,000 is definitely a, a milestone for the mental note of Bitcoin. You know, uh, Bitcoin is always a, a speculative investment, so numbers have a lot to do with it. Breaking the $4,000 barrier is, a you know, you know it's a new precedent and we're it's, it's absolutely wonderful to be there right um we're looking like we're up across all top three altcoins we got a nice market cap we got a nice trading volume and btc dominance is up at 49.7 percent uh we got a market cap of 138.7 billion dollars and we got 5.6 billion trade in the last 24 hours uh looks like we got ethereum coming in at 302 that's up 3.2 percent and we got ripple at 17.5 cents that's up 5.3 percent uh as i sit here and look through the rest of the market it looks like sideways movement or a little bit of a fluctuation but nothing to be too concerned about i mean everything that's happening is happening with bitcoin right now um so i mean we got um uh, we got bitcoin cash coming in at 306 which is some sideways movement we got litecoin at 45.90 that's down 1.1 percent and we got nem taking a little bit of a hit today that's down 6.2 percent coming in at 25 cents uh we got dash and ethereum classic making sideways movement at 214.24 we got monero rolling up at 48.41 that's down 1.8 percent and we got zcash hitting 211 which is more sideways movement steams at a buck 16 that's down four percent and we got the steam back dollar coming in at 90 cents that's up 5.7 percent uh you know i've been using the steam back dollar to try to help me let go let me know what's going on with the altcoins and looking at 90 cents and it's being up five percent looks like altcoins are down but i mean you know with how we're looking at btc being way up there i mean this is probably why a lot of people have moved out of the altcoins into bitcoin as the price is increasing um so, I mean, what do I got here for you today on Bitcoin and Coffee for News? Well, I mean, we're looking at Polo and Bread Wallet. They're jumping on base with, or they're jumping on with Coinbase and saying the same thing that they're going to get your Bitcoin cash by the end of the year. Um, you know, it seems like it's a little late. A lot of people have already got their Bitcoin cash and sold it out for Bitcoin, which apparently at this point in time looks like a good move, considering that Bitcoin uh, has made some big moves as of recently. I mean, we're up a thousand dollars over the last week. Um, you know, but I mean, we're looking at some Bitcoin movement here, and this is, I mean, due to what? I mean, we have Segregated Witness coming on board here in a week, and we're going to be looking at all kinds of great things coming to Bitcoin. We're going to be looking at Atomic Swap. We're going to be looking at Lightning. We're going to be looking at Rootstock, which bring us smart contracts and everything else. And I mean, a lot of people, I mean, not a lot of people, but there are a majority of people out there that aren't really happy about this. Uh, they're saying that this is going to be changing Bitcoin. It's not part of the original design. You know, they, that's why they help split off and to make the Bitcoin Cash. So hopefully, you know, Bitcoin Cash, is finding some support right now at 306 but you know as bitcoin grows hopefully that some of that support will come back especially since mining has been down and not very profitable in comparison to bitcoin and bitcoin cash um you know everything that's going on with it hopefully bitcoin cash will stick around a little bit though so that we can get through the november debates on whether or not to uh take on a two mega block size we can help push them over that way um you know but with us reaching all new high prices like this we have you know major media sources starting to cover bitcoin again it seems like it's starting to get harder and harder for bitcoin to be ignored by people out there especially some major corporations and small-term investors and you know people in the stock market and hedge funds and all of that kind of investing programs uh, they're seeing Bitcoin and they're seeing, I mean, the gains that we've been making across this year. And here we are again, reaching all time highs. And it's being, you know, talked about in the mass media again, which is going to bring in a whole flood of new people once again. And this always pumps the Bitcoin price up. So I'm hoping that this is how we get, you know, Bitcoin up to $5,000 and on. Um, but I'm also hoping that there isn't a big panic in November because of this. You know, a large number of new people get in and then all of a sudden they just start hearing about some sort of FUD from, you know, the two mega block uh, Segway 2X thing. Thing from the New York agreement and the potential split again of Bitcoin and they go dumping and then they drive the price of Bitcoin back down because if we're looking at a five met or a 5k Bitcoin by then and we turn around and we drop back down to 3k it's gonna be very disappointing to a lot of people causing them to you know panic sell and everything but us long-term holders I mean we know best uh, we know to be purchasing a little bit here and there across the board so that we're not always buying at the top or buying at the bottom uh, it's really hard to time these markets on you know buying in and out at the same time that's why they say time in the market not timing the market 
Um, you know, you just got to get out there. You got to get Bitcoin. You got to hold it. I mean, it's getting harder and harder. Look at it. I mean, four thousand one hundred and sixty-two dollars. I remember when Bitcoin was seven hundred dollars when I got into it. Um, you know, right now. I, even in my position, you know, you're going out there and you're working, you're probably making 30K or under a year, you know, at $4,000, this stuff is, you know, it's not cheap anymore. At $700, you know, you can swing it here and there to get a whole Bitcoin, but I mean, buying one Bitcoin at a whole shot is definitely not happening anymore for most people, um, you know. I mean, and this goes to show everybody, you know, that Bitcoin is definitely coming I mean, the cash of the future. Uh, this stuff can't be stopped. It's growing exponentially. And it seems like the more people that get into it, the more that they understand it. Not only are we working on making it simpler for other people to understand, which will make it a lot more adoptable for the rest of the world. But I mean, the ability that it's growing at and how we're being able to accommodate the market when where we need to be accommodating the market is amazing. So, I mean... You know, I'm so bullish on Bitcoin, it's not funny, right? <laughs> uh, so if you like everything that's going on here on Bitcoin and coffee, I need you to go ahead, subscribe to this channel, start trying to catch my daily news. Um, you know, I know I didn't put out a show on Saturday. Uh, I ended up going over and seeing my family, and uh, I was out of here real early in the morning, so there was no way to me, for me to be able to get you a video. Uh, you know, I do apologize for that. I've actually been debating on whether or not I want to drop off the Saturday broadcast. Uh, if you, you know, let me know what you're thinking about that, because I know not a lot of other news sources are doing Saturdays, um, you know, but I know that there are a few out there that are now starting to produce several videos a day, and, you know, it's not quite like it was when I first started YouTube and this stuff out there there's a lot of other sources um so let me know if you guys want to continue to see my videos on saturday or monday through friday is you know good enough for you or whatever you guys are tired to see my face or whatever but you know as always i got all kinds of links down there below for you to help you navigate these cryptocurrency markets help you figure out what's going on out there i got links to help you get over to steam Come on over, I'll vote my post, please. It's a great way to help out the channel. Um, you know, the better you can make your post, the better your content is, the more they say that people are gonna recognize it and upvote it, the more value it has, and you'll start to get free cryptocurrency over there. And you know, you can't beat that with a stick, right? <laughs> you gotta get that cryptocurrency, you gotta hodl it, you gotta keep it. You know, it's going to be what's in the future. You know, you got to start putting your hopes and dreams in it because, you know, I mean, what's the U.S. dollar deflating at 2% a year? I mean, so what? In 30 years, you got half your money. Uh, you know, that's ridiculous. I mean, who wants to start trying to stack away something that's going to be counting against them? So, I mean... You know, make sure you get a bit, make sure you get a good understanding of Bitcoin before you start investing more than you can bite off and chew. Uh, you know, and as always, I got my free help desk service out there. It's Eugene Forrest at two zero at gmail dot com. Uh, and as always, I got donational addresses down there. If you got extra cryptocurrency, I wouldn't mind you toss a little extra my way to help fund the channel. Um, I got a Genesis mining code down there for a three percent discount if you're into that. That's another great way to help fund the channel. But as always, I'm always recommending to go over to Steam, upvote my post. You know, that's a great way to help me out too. And while you're there, collect your yourself some free cryptocurrency. So, you know, do everything you can keep your Bitcoin safe, people.